we present UNIF, United Neural Implicit Functions for Closed Human Reconstruction and Animation. We reconstruct the shape of a closed human from a sequence of point clouds and skeletons in a part-based manner. Then, we can animate the reconstructed person into novel poses by manipulating the skeleton. CAPE registers point clouds with simple and overlays deformations but suffers from fixed topology and limited resolution. As a new trend in the community, the neural implicit function features a flexible topology and a continuous modeling space. Scanimate adopts a neural implicit function to model a complete human body in a canonical space and uses LBS to bridge arbitrary poses with the rest pose. However, the post-conditioned neural scanning network barely generalizes to novel poses. NASA uses a separate neural implicit function to model each body part, but NASA relies on ground truth partition labels and hardly generalizes to novel poses. A major advance of our method is that we can reconstruct a closed human into parts with no need for part labels. As another major contribution, we obtain improved post-generalization ability by explicitly modeling the interaction between parts. Given the point x in the global space, we transform it into the local space of each bone. In each local space, we learn a new implicit function to model the SDF of a part. Finally, we take the minimum of all SDF. When minimizing the surface reconstruction loss with variant poses, we are pushing the networks to converge into separate rigid parts. We call this process partition from motion. However, when the training poses are limited, this process can be unstable. Therefore, we initialize each part into a small sphere at the center of a bone. Then, parts are not intersected, and the SDF of a part approximately equals to the distance to the bone center. This ensures that most points are assigned to the right part when training begins. For regularization, we use a bone limit loss to urge the surface of a part to go through its connected joints, and a section normal loss to regularize the interface between parts. Once we are able to obtain preferable body partition, we consider non-rigid deformations. Although we fit in the status of joints to ease fitting, similar to NASA, the model still hardly generalizes to novel poses producing disconnections and overlaps in novel poses. Therefore, we propose adjacent part simming to explicitly model the interaction between parts. The goal is to recover the position of a point when its adjacent parts are in the rest poses. We accumulate the offset factors for three or more connected parts. Then, how do we obtain the blending weights omega? We first define a rigidness field of a part regarding to each adjacent part. Intuitively, rigidness increases when the point is closer to a part. Alpha and beta are learnable parameters. Then, we can obtain the blending weights according to the proportion of rigidness. Note that omega 1 and omega 2 sum to 1, which ensures the alignment of sections. Here is our complete pipeline. We conduct experiments on the CAPE and the closed sac datasets. In the post-interpolation experiment, our method shows competitive expressiveness and higher robustness to inaccurate skeleton estimation. In the post-extrapolation experiment, our method generalizes better to novel poses through explicit decomposing of rigid parts. Similar conclusions can be drawn from quantitative results on CAPE and CLOSAC. The ablation study confirms that all components are necessary. Further, disconnections and overlaps are largely alleviated with adjacent part swimming. After optimization, the scaling matrices alpha are symmetric, while the bias matrices beta are skew symmetric. Since the 13th and the 14th joints of simple are too close to the spine, our method learns a small chest and large shoulders. When nearby region undergoes drastic movements, our model converges to overlapped parts and shows inconsistent part division during animation. Thank you for watching.